In the news this week, homeschoolers face state registration, the government says it should do more to help persecuted Christians, and a pro-life film receives an outpouring of support at the box office. Hello. New plans have been unveiled which would see parents who educate their children at home having to register with the government. Education Secretary Damien Hines acknowledged that many children are getting an excellent education from their parents, but said some are potentially at risk. Backing the idea of a register, he also said the government could provide home educators with access to curriculum materials. But critics say the plan is an unnecessary state intrusion. Home educator Edward Hardy said the register will not protect children. Instead, it will amount to a further step down the path of unwarranted intrusion into family life by the state. A spokesman for the Christian Institute warned that the government must listen very carefully to parents and not overreach its rightful place. The Foreign Secretary has suggested levels of UK aid could in the future be linked to countries making progress on freedom of religion. Replying to MPs' questions, Jeremy Hunt said the government should do more to help persecuted Christians overseas, as he reiterated the importance of an upcoming report. The UK has long championed freedom of religion, but I think we should do more for the estimated 240 million Christians facing persecution for their faith around the world. So I've asked the Bishop of Truro to do a review, which I'm hoping he will deliver in the summer. While he said aid could be linked to progress in countries such as Afghanistan, he struck a softer tone on China. Where we have a large aid budget with a country like Afghanistan, for example, it is absolutely essential that we make clear to the government in those countries uh, that we are expecting progress on uh, freedom of religious belief. Of course, China is uh, a very important country with whom we have critical relations in the world, but having those relations also means that you have to be able to raise issues of concern uh, when you meet your Chinese counterparts. In its 2019 report, Open Doors estimated that some 4,000 Christians were killed because of their faith over the last year, although the true figure is thought to be even higher. Gambling firms are under investigation after they launched new fixed-odds betting games the same day new rules on addictive machines came into force. New government rules lowered the maximum stake on fixed-odds betting terminals from £100 to £2, and gambling firms have been warned not to try to undermine the law. But Paddy Power and Betfred introduced new roulette-style games, which are not bound by the same rules as the machines, as they require gamblers to place bets over the counter. MPs and campaigners voiced their outrage at the move. Gambling Minister Mims Davies said, We cut fob tea stakes to £2 to protect vulnerable people from gambling-related harm, and operators should respect both the letter and the spirit of that change. The Gambling Commission has launched an investigation into the games, which have now been removed by the gambling firms. And finally, a pro-life film has pulled in more than $6 million in its opening weekend, despite efforts to block its promotion. Unplanned tells the story of Abby Johnson, a Planned Parenthood clinic director turned pro-life activist, who changed her perspective after witnessing a 13-week abortion. Earlier this year, Unplanned received a restrictive R rating from film regulators, and around its opening weekend, the film's official Twitter account was suspended. Despite this, Unplanned finished in the top five at the US box office and has received much support. The US vice president called it a deeply inspiring new pro-life film. And the film's co-directors said they were so pleased that people responded with such an enormous outpouring of support at the box office. Well, that's all for this week. For more information and regular updates on all of our stories, plus much more, visit our website at christian.org.uk. Until next time, goodbye.